Hey y'all, welcome back to Keeping Up with KJ. My name is Kanisha and I'm a first time home buyer who is transforming my first home one DIY project at a time. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you along as I design my office. So this project will be a long time coming. Um, this May will make three years since I've been in my home. And at this point, I am getting more serious with my content and I need a dedicated space um, to work on everything and to do my YouTubes, edit my YouTubes, edit anything really, um, and get my creative juices out because I am sick and tired of using my kitchen table as my content creation space. So I have some ideas. I think I've worked out something that I like. You know I like to keep my projects on a budget, but I wanted to get all of my ideas out and then kind of see where I could cut back or find things that were similar um, for a more affordable price. So I've created a mood board already. I have no idea how much this is going to cost based on these items. So I'm going to have to work around. Um, I think I want to keep this somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure. So... The reason why I'm not sure about how I'm going to work my budget is because I am going to need several furniture pieces and I know how furniture can start to add up. So I want to add a desk to this space. Um, I specifically think I want an L-shaped desk so that way, and I'll show you the setup of the room. I think I want an L-shaped desk just to give me more space and more room. Um, but I also, there's one window in the room. I don't want the desk to be right in front of the window, but I do want to have natural lighting coming in if I am going to use that as my backdrop to film. So I, I think the l shape will make sense, but again, I will show you the space. I'm also going to need a office desk chair and then I kind of want just like a lounge chair where I can kind of like sit back, relax, um, edit if I'm looking for a more like relaxed seating and not just the office chair. So I know those things and then I want to add some sort of organization in far, as far as shelves or something like that. So I know those things are going to start to add up with the furniture. So I'm thinking, let's say, if, let's see if I can get this done for... $750. So if designer space is on a budget interests you, then keep watching. So I am in the space that is going to be my office. And just like the guest bedroom, the color choice in here is awful. Um, it's just not it. it somebody said it looks like baby food and I could kind of see that like squash, smushed up squash. Um, so off the rip, the colors got to go. Um, as far as the space, here's kind of what we are working with. So I want to do something different. This is the entrance to my creepy attic. Um, but instead of going through and removing the popcorn like I did in the guest bedroom, I actually want to try and see which way I like better. I think I want to skim coat and then sand down from there. So add drywall mud to smooth it out and then sand and see if that's a little bit less messy. So I am gonna do that. We do have another um, very, hold on, let me see. Um, maybe we can call it antique. An antique ceiling fan, awful. Um, that also has to go. So basically clearing out the space, I have already done the flooring because that was again the same project where I did all of the flooring upstairs at one time. And so think of this as a blank canvas and let me show you what the whole space looks like. But here is the space. So when you come in, there is sort of an angled wall here. Let me show you. Um, so there is an angle wall when you come in, but from there, this is really the space. So I want an L-shaped desk, I think, again, so that way I can kind of capture some of this sunlight coming in. So originally I wanted to do built-ins. My fear with the built-ins is that that's going to limit um, if when I go to sell this home, somebody then wants to use this space as an additional bedroom. The two additional bedrooms in my home outside of my master are not that big. And so I wouldn't want to stop somebody from buying this because those built-ins are there and they feel like they can't use this as a third bedroom. So again, I'm thinking a L-shaped desk here. Okay, I do need to clear things out in here and kind of take things off. And then maybe like a lounge chair, some kind of chair 
and then a rug in the middle of the floor or I could do just a regular desk and then do some shelving. I know I want to do a accent wall so I'm not quite sure if I want to put the shelving over here or if I want to put the shelving over here. Well really I feel like that's going to block so as soon as I come in I don't want to have shelves right here. So maybe curtains here all the way to the ceiling. Shelf, shelf, and then L desk. But then I feel like that's going to come out too far. So the door opens that much to the closet. So the desk at least needs to be somewhat this away. So yeah, let's, I think that's what I'm going to do. So L desk, some kind of storage, shelving, shelving, and then maybe there isn't room for a chair in here, y'all. Um, just with the way that I want to do the desk. Because a chair, a chair is not going to fit right here. Y'all tell me, y'all comment down below and tell me what you all think. I think. The space will look larger once I take the things out of it, but I just really, my, I think I really do want the L shaped desk or I could push the L here all the way up against this wall and then have it come out and then have one set of shelving here and then maybe the chair right in here, kind of like almost across from the desk. So yeah, let's go with that. So, alrighty, so now that you all have seen the space, now it is time to show you what I have as far as the design and see where that falls into my $750 budget and where we need to go from here. So here's what I have for the mood board as far as the office space. And so what makes me the most nervous about this mood board is the fact that one of the, or the walls is a color. So all of the spaces in my home are either white or some shade of neutral. Um, and even the, I try to get out and do a little bit of color in the guest bedroom, but it's still like a, a version of a neutral. Um, I really do like this blue color. Um, but I'm nervous. I'm, I'm nervous. Should I do a lighter wall and then keep the dark curtains that I have or do a lighter curtain? So I'm, I'm going to kind of play around with some stuff. Um, I definitely like the simplicity of the ceiling fan. That old ceiling fan has got to go. And so let's talk about the desk. So this desk is not an L, an L shaped, um, but it did match the aesthetic that I was going for. Um, almost like a, a wooden birch color and then a marble top. So I think I am going to give myself the task of making this desk myself. Um, all of the L-shaped desks that I've seen, I don't think they're going to fit into the space. And then I honestly just kind of don't really like the way that they look. So I think I'm going to create my own desk. So that will be on the lookout for that. Um, but that is the aesthetic that I'm going for this desk right here. But this desk right here was in the thousands of dollars and the desk alone surpassed my budget. So the desk, this specific desk is clearly just for inspiration. Um, and then so that is the actual painting that I found in Ross yesterday and I think it's really going to tie this space together. I like how it had the different tones of blues um, but then also had that gold accent and then also some kind of pinkish as well. I really like adding the pink chair but I know I need a chair to go with the desk but then I also wanted to have that additional chair as well. So this is what I have so far with the cream office chair and then the kind of pinkish mauve on the sort of lounge relaxation chair. And then I went with a rug that was kind of simple, but then had uh, just that little pop of navy and then those navy curtains. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit more and then show you all what I come up with. And you tell me which variations of this design you like best. So the first step in this is to total up what I currently have to even see where we are um, as far as pricing. Um, I know for sure the painting or the artwork that I got was $40. So we're starting with that. I'm going to need two curtains. Oh, these curtains are fairly expensive. Oh, not fairly expensive, fairly inexpensive. Um, $30 for a panel. 
a velvet curtains that's good so i'll need two of those um, we're gonna need a gold curtain rod and then i love adding the curtain rods to the o-rings now i will say you got to be real careful when you are doing gold accents you got to make sure you're getting the right um shade of gold um you're not getting the one that's too light or too dark for whatever you have um so when i'm doing this i instantly my go-to place is amazon because i can find most of the things that i want or i'm looking for for a good price here on amazon so with the the curtain set up that's the o-rings to like clip the curtains which i did downstairs in my living room the rod and two curtains that right there is 92 dollars so let's keep going y'all i for the life of me i truly do not understand why rugs are so expensive like um i'm not understanding okay so i for sure might be getting this rug so i don't know if i'm gonna need a five by eight or an eight by ten um i'm gonna put the eight by ten price um just so that way we'll see where we fall into the budget but this rug is actually affordable so a hundred dollars for an eight by ten for a rug that's amazing okay so um i'm gonna total up what i have comment down below and tell me how much you think that mood board is going to cost without the desk because remember again i am going to build the desk but everything else in that photo let me know what you think that cost Alrighty, so again i have not done this before this moment so we will all find out together um if i'm way off as far as my budget So with the items from that mood board without the disc, that puts me at $988. All right, so here is what I have and what I think is my final decision as far as the guest bedroom. Again, I went with lighter, actually cream curtains, and then I changed out the office chair from that cream color to more of a blush color to pull that out of the painting. Um, I know I want to do some gold frames where I have my um, degrees in them as well i'm not really quite sure how i'm going to arrange those but i do know i want gold frames for that just because most of the things in this space are gold um i'm still kind of deciding on this specific gold shelving but i know i want some sort of gold shelving um on the side of the window or maybe on that wall that'll be across from the desk so I play around with the placement of those things, but I think I am locked in on this design right here. Alrighty, so I actually really am excited about how this mood board turned out. And I can't wait to bring this project to life. So bear with me because again, I got some other DIYs that I'm going to have to do before I'm able to start styling this space. But I'm really excited to see it all come together. Um, you all really like the video from last week, so I will be sure to link that here. So if you're looking for ways to save money and create a home that you love through DIY and home decor on a budget, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications because it's time to start keeping up with KJ.